It's not a picture yet, but if your powers of perception can go beyond the obvious, then you're ready to get the picture. And now, here's the host of Get the Picture, a guy never too busy to return my phone calls. Your phone calls. I wouldn't have an announcer if I didn't. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Get the Picture, the game show where an eye for detail can make you a winner. Let's get started by meeting our players today. On the orange team, hello, guys. Hello. Jenneth and Mike. <laughs> Jenneth, now I understand one of your main interests is singing. Yes. Have you ever performed in front of other people? Yes, I, I do it for my family and friends, and I do, I've done it in front of my school a couple times. And do you get nervous at all? I'm getting used to it. You're getting used to it? A veteran performer here. Mike, you're a basketball player, and you, yes, play, and you play center, is that correct? Or wing. Center or wing. Have you been working on your 360-degree uh, dunk? It's getting there. It's getting there. The man's a leaper. I like that. All right. Yellow team, Abby and Kaz, how you guys doing? Pretty good. Thanks. All right. Abby, you're a, uh, you're a skier. You've been skiing for a long time. Where, where do you usually go skiing? Um, Utah. Utah. Yeah. Any place in particular? Park City usually. Uh huh. Now, can you do dunks with the skis on, or any mm -hmm. uh, special flips or anything like that? No. Just put the skis on, go down the hill. Yeah. All right, Kaz, you you aspire to be a stand-up comedian. That's right. And now, have you uh, any plans on performing soon? Um, no, I'm trying to though. Okay, you could maybe try a couple jokes if they're clean out here today. Okay. <laughs> maybe. All right. We are ready to begin round one of Get the Picture. It's called Connect the Dots. Up on our board here, you'll see a video version of Connect the Dots. And your job is to figure out what picture the dots represent. Now, I'll be asking questions. The team that buzzes in first with the correct answer gets $20, gets to connect the dots in a square of their choice, and the chance to guess the picture. All right? So let's get started. Let's put our first picture up on the board. There you go. And the clue is, it's a thing. A thing. First question. Rhapsody in Blue, is this a famous A, painting, B, fungus, or C, melody? Orange team. C, melody. C, melody, that is correct. $20 for the orange team. Which square do you guys want? Fourteen. Fourteen. Can we see fourteen, please? There you go. Rhapsody in blue, the fungus. Okay, you guys can take a guess. If you guess this picture right, you get $50. If you guess it wrong, you lose 20 Would you like to take a guess as to what it is? No. Okay, next question. You say you've got a bad woofer. Are you talking about A, your dog, B, your stereo speaker, or C, your cough? Orange team. B, your stereo system. That is correct, your stereo speaker. That's right. $20 more. Dollars. Which square do you want? Fifteen. Number fifteen, please. A little bit more detail for you. Any guesses? Mm -mm. <laughs> no. Okay, next question. What sport features birdies, eagles, and double bogeys? Yes, yellow team. Golf. Golf is correct. Put you on the board with 20. Which square? 16. Number 16. You guys almost got that bottom row completed. You want to take a guess? No. Okay. If you leave Baltimore at 6 p.m., traveling at a rate of 45 miles per hour, how many are in a baker's dozen? Okay. Yellow team. 13. 13 is correct. <laughs> Try to confuse you a little bit there. Didn't get past Abby. Which square? 13. Number 13. A guess? It is a thing? No. No. Okay. Now, next question, Mike. What country uses rubles as its form of money? Yellow team. Russia. Russia is correct. Brings you to 60. Yeah. You guys got it down by now. Which square? Number nine. Number nine. Really helps you out there, huh, that yeah. number nine? Huh? Big time. A guess? No. no. Big time, says the stand-up comedian. Name all of the Simpsons with blue hair. Yellow team. Marge. Marge, that's right. That's 20 points for you. I know. Which square? Six. Number six, please. 
could connect those two dots. Does that help you out at all? Okay. You want to take a guess? Yes. Okay. It's a computer. Is it a computer? <laughs> it is a computer. That is correct. <laughs> Woo! That brings you up to 110. Nice job on that. Brings you score to 110. How did you know it was a computer? Just the shape of it. Just the, the shape of it. You got it. Connect the dots, it's a computer. Okay, Whoa. that brings your score to 110. Yellow team with 60 points. Let's put our next picture up on the board. And the clue is it's an animal. Animal. Who is the oldest person ever elected president of the U.S.? <laughs> Ronald Reagan. Oh, Ronald Reagan. Oh, my, I, I knew that. I, I, oh, my. In England, they call them lifts. What do we call them in the U.S.? Orange team. Elevator. Elevators. She knew that one. $20 for the orange team. Which square? Ten. Number ten. A little excitement there on that detailed uh, spot there. Ding, ding, ding. Does that help you guys out at all? Yeah, Tonight? but no, we don't have a guess. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. All right. <laughs> yeah, Mike, go on to the next question. <laughs> the Secret of the Ooze is a sequel to what totally awesome movie? Dude. Orange the Blob? Team. The Blob. That is incorrect. Oh. Yellow Team. The Secret of the Ooze is a sequel to what totally awesome? I'm reading it from my card. Hit movie. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I wonder if that's going to be a hit. These guys don't know it. What branch of the military has ensigns, commodores, and admirals? Yes, Orange Team. The Navy. The Navy, that is correct. Twenty more dollars from you guys. Which square? Seven. Number seven. It's an animal. I help you out at all? Doesn't help you out at no. all? All right. No. How many keys are there on a standard piano? Eighty-eight. Remember that guy in Dick Tracy? Eighty-eight keys? Maybe you don't. The village of Hamlin hired the Pied Piper to get rid of what kind of pests? Yes. Rats. Rats is correct. Twenty dollars. For the orange team, let's go on, uh, which square do you want? Eleven. Okay. Eleven. Eleven. I'm sorry. Eleven. Power surge! <laughs> All right! Power surge, a chance for you guys to get an extra $20 and also an extra clue as to what the picture is. Now, we'll be playing rear window this time. We'll be showing you pictures that are covered up through the eyepieces of a set of moving binoculars. You've got to identify five of them in 15 seconds. On your mark, get set, go. An egg in a pan. That's incorrect. It's an no. avocado. No. A bridge. 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 bridge, that's right. Fireworks. Correct. Uh, okay, that buzzer means time is up. The $20, since you guys were unsuccessful at that power surge, goes to the yellow team. That brings your score to 80 points. We will reveal that power surge square, an actual piece of the picture. Yellow team, you get a chance to guess. Now, remember, it's an animal. If you guess wrong, you still lose the $20 you just made. If you guess it right, you get 50. No. No. No guess. Okay, on to the next question. Name the three darling children from Peter Pan. Orange team. Michael, Wendy, John. That is correct. Yes. Twenty more dollars for the orange team. Which square? Twelve. Number twelve, please. It's an animal. Help you guys out at all? Oh, uh, oh. No. <laughs> No. Okay, next Okay, that buzzer means time is running out, so what we're going to do is reveal it one square at a time until one team buzzes in with the correct answer. This is worth $50. Let's reveal those squares. 
Starfish. Yes, orange team. Starfish. Is it a starfish? That is correct. It is a starfish. That brings your score to 240 points. That's 240 bucks right there. Yellow team with 80. Don't worry about it. You got plenty of time to catch up. We got round two coming up. We got a good game going so far, so stick around. More cash, more games to play. We'll see ya. Let's just recap the scoring. Yellow team with $80. Orange team with $240. Let's begin round two. You'll be playing a game called Dots. Here's how you play. We'll be putting a picture up on the board. I'll be asking questions that will require two, three, or even four answers. Now, each group of responses is worth $40, plus as many lines as there are answers, plus a chance to guess the hidden picture. Now, there's one power surge square up there. And don't forget, if you don't give me all of the answers for a given question, the other team can buzz in and steal. Got it? Got it. Looks like our first picture is in place. The, uh, the clue is, it's a thing. And here's the first question. The 1989 World Series was delayed by a surprise earthquake. Name the two teams whose game Yellow team. The Oakland A's and the San Francisco Giants. That is correct. Forty more dollars for the yellow team. <laughs> Got two lines. Which two lines do you want to make? One, um, one to two, two to seven. Okay, two more lines makes a square. Name the two houses that make up the U.S. Congress. Orange team. The Senate. I have the Senate. I need one more house. Yellow team. The House of Representatives. These guys aren't voting age yet. <laughs> Give the full name of two Sylvester Stallone characters who appeared in more than two movies. Yellow team. Um, Ro Rocky Balboa. That's one. And... Um, Orange team. I need one other person. One other character. Adrian. He did not play his wife, Adrian, in the Rocky movies. No, he did not. <laughs> He would have won an Academy Award if he did. <laughs> Tricks with camera. John Rambo. John Rambo was the other one. Name two things the Statue of Liberty is holding besides her breath. Yellow team. A torch and a book. A torch and a book. That's, that's good. That's, that's 40 points for you guys. Two lines. Um, one to six, six to seven. Okay. Power surge! <laughs> Give you guys a chance to catch up. We'll be playing putting for pieces. Look at Kay. He's, he's getting into it, Kaz. All right. Putting for pieces. Object of the game is to sink as many of these pink fluorescent golf balls into the hole. And we have a new picture up there. It's on a three-by-three three grid. For each ball that you sink, we will reveal a portion of the picture. Okay? On your mark. Get set. Go! Okay, now you want to try to get as many as you can. Line a couple up there. Line three, line four. Hit them. You only got 30 seconds. We got one right over here. We got another one right here. Keep moving. Keep moving. Come on, Lee Trevino. Line them up over there. Okay, another one. Right. Okay, you guys, don't want to shoot for the whole job. means time is up, but you guys did all right on this. You have one in number two, in number three, in number four, and in number five. That's four portions of the picture. Let's reveal that. Got one more piece? Okay. Take a guess. Nachos. Is it nachos? That is correct. It is nachos. Here's your 40 more points. Let's get back up to the playing area. Okay. We got a close one going here now. 240 for the orange team, 210 for the yellow team. We're going to reveal an actual piece of the picture. Let's do that now. Okay, now if you guess right this time, you get $75. If you guess wrong, you only lose $20. The clue is it's a, it's a thing? Yeah. 
Did I say thing? Yeah, it's a thing. No. No. Next question. Name the two different environments that an amphibian, like a frog, can live in. Orange team. Water and land. Water and land. That's correct. 40 more points. Two lines. Which two lines? Two to three and two, uh, three to eight. Two to three and three to eight. Okay, one more line makes a square. The state of Hawaii is made up of six main islands. Please name two of them. Orange team. Hawaii and Maui. That is correct. Forty more points. You got two lines. Which two lines you want to make? Seven to eight, Seven to eight and eight to nine. Okay, let's reveal that. Remember, it's a thing. You want to take a guess? Leaves. Is it leaves? That is correct. Okay. Put our next puzzle up on the board. And the clue is it's a sport. By the way, that brings your score to 395. You get 75 for getting that picture right. 395. $295. Let me say it one more time. 395. <laughs> Just in case a space traveler ever asks you for directions, name two planets in our solar system that are. Yes, Orange Team. Mercury. Pluto. Mercury is incorrect. Pluto is correct. I, and let me read the full question. Just in case a space traveler ever asks you for directions, name two planets in our solar system that are farther from the sun than Earth. I have Pluto. I need one more. Oh. Okay, that buzzer means that uh, you didn't get the answer. Uh, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. Let's hope no space travelers ask you guys for directions. <laughs> Name the two colors that human blood cells come in. Yell, uh, orange team, I'm sorry. Red and white. Red and white, white is correct. Forty more dollars for the orange yeah. team. And two lines. What are they going to be? One to two, two to seven. One to two, two to seven. Before it came down in 1989, a great wall separated two German-speaking cities. Name them. Yellow team. East and West Germany. East and West Germany is incorrect. Orange team. East Berlin, East yes. Berlin and West Berlin. East Berlin, West Berlin, that's correct. Yes. Forty to more dollars. Yes. Two lines. What are they going to be? Seven to six. Seven to six. six. And one to six. Six to one. Six to one, one to six. It's a sport. It's <gasps> running. Is it running? That is correct. That thing just go up to five hundred and fifty dollars. Running. How'd you know it was running? Well, because I was in a running race once, and my uncle was in it, so I thought... Was that your know. uncle up there? No, no, no but... Okay. Yes, I'm I saw my uncle up there, and... and oh, yes. No, put our next no. puzzle up on the board. And the clue is, it's a thing. First question. Before... It... Pretend you've got your own pool table, and tell me the two categories of billiard balls used in a game of eight ball. Yellow team. Stripes and solids. Stripes and solids, that's correct. Forty more dollars. Two lines, yellow team. What are they going to be? One to two, two to seven. They like that. Name two countries that are part of the United Kingdom. Orange team. Great Britain and Scotland. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Scotland is correct. Yellow team, I need one other answer. England. England, that's correct. <laughs> Forty more dollars. <laughs> Takes the guess there. He got it right. Two lines. Um, one to six, six to seven. Okay, if you get it right, you get 75 beans. Yarn. Is it yarn? It is yarn. Put you guys right back up there. Great, great work. $365. Wonderful. That buzzer means time has run out in this game. Yellow team with $365. Great score, but today's winner is the orange team with $550. Yellow team, along with the $365, you're going to split. We're going to give you a couple going away prizes. Henry J., tell them about it.
For our departing team, a collection of outstanding video games from Natsumi, including Shadow of a Ninja, for the Nintendo Entertainment System, and Amazing Penguin for the Game Boy. But wait, there's more. Ice cream is very good, but ice cream with the rich, delicious taste of Hershey's chocolate syrup is even better. Hershey's syrup makes good things even better. And now back to you, Mr. Quizmaster. I am the quiz master, and I'll be quizzing these guys in the bonus round. They're confident. Look at those faces. Mega memory coming up. Will we have advanced to the bonus round. The orange team today's winners. We'll be guessing these pictures. You got 10 seconds. We're going to show you for 10 seconds a three by three grid of pictures. Then we'll cover them up. And as uh, I read off a clue for each picture, you need to hit the corresponding button on the Mega Memory keypad. Now, you guys get $100 a piece for the first six you get correct. And then after that, You'll be playing for these great prizes, Henry J. Mike, today's grand prize package includes Schwinn. New bikes, new thinking. Visit your local Schwinn dealer and see Schwinn's latest in bikes and fitness equipment. And when you're through riding, sing along to your favorite hits and make a recording with your own sing -Alodian. In Japan, it's karaoke. In America, it's sing by Lone Star. Get all nine matches and you and a friend will spend a week training just like the real astronauts at the U.S. Space Camp in Alabama or Florida. Space Camp is really out of this world. Some real cosmic and global prizes, eh, Mike? <laughs> and you are one spacey announcer, Henry J. We're going on. Here we go. Okay, the theme is things that are up in the air or up in the air, not just things. Uncover the pictures. Good look. Yeah, they're out. Okay, there we go. We're ready to begin. We got 45 seconds on the clock. You guys take turns guessing. Up in the air is the theme. It orbits the Earth and comes out at night. Go. Hey. Ron, hold on to the string or you'll lose it. What? Incorrect. Look for a pot of gold at the end. Nine. Incorrect. Hold on tight. There's wind beneath these wings. Two. Two hang glider. That's right. Hey, don't forget to pull your rip cord. Three. R three. That's wrong. It's huge inflatable craft that flies through the sky. Nine. That's right. Glyph. Jump in the gondola or float away. Jump in the gondola or float One. away. One. That's incorrect. Takes you to the top of the slopes. Four. Four. Elif, right. A spacecraft that's reusable. Seven space shuttle. It orbits the Earth and comes out at night. Six. That's right, six. Hold on to the string or you'll lose it. Oh, no. That was number five, the kite. Let's see. You guys got one, two, three, four, five pictures. Henry J, tell them what they got. Congratulations. You'll each take home $500 in cash. All right. Listen, you guys, that brings your score to about $1,050. What are you going to do with the money? We'll see you next time on Get the Picture. Woo! Good work. Good work. Nickelodeon Studios at Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida.